Hi, right, Matt. Welcome to another episode of uh, You Built That. Uh, today is going to be crazy awesome because, like, I've actually personally requested this build. It is 1,200 points, uh, single universe. You can use relics for um, the the appropriate universe and stuff like that. But um, yeah, so like, this was just an excuse for me to play the Justice League. Like all the main members. Like, I mean, yeah, I could be playing some of the the weird ones, like. Um, the Atom or stuff like that, but no, this is for the opportunity for me to play like the Justice League that's from pretty much we all know and love. So like starting up, uh, I have the Superman from the Teen Titans, the team base. I took him off the team base because playing on team base is kind of like lame and not fun. And then the pieces on the team base are pretty, pretty, pretty exciting. So uh, he's going to be one of my big mega bruisers. Um, I like him because like when he's got no uh, action tokens on him, none of his powers can be countered. So I'm hoping that uh, like messes people up pretty good. Uh, next up, I have the 200 point Batman from the Batman set. Um, I needed a beast, just like a Batman that would just tear people up. And then what unintentionally happened is that I realized at 200 points, he gives the Batman family team ability to everybody who's got the same keyword as him, which in this case would be Justice League and has less points than him, which in this case would be everybody on my team but Superman. So I'm going to have a ton of stealth. I'm hoping this works out okay, or it could be just a uh, whatever, who knows. Um, I needed a good Wonder Woman coming up, and I uh, I wish I could have fit the Arkham Asylum one because she's just so awesome to sculpt with her, that big old column and stuff like that. Uh, but instead I went with 150 points uh, Wonder Woman, also from the Teen Titan team base, because um, again, it's just not fair. It's a, it's a good piece. Um, I like that it it didn't have willpower per se, but if you make an, a, an attack this turn, you get willpower. So, like, as long as I keep making attacks, I mean, i got to be careful where I place, like, if I'm not going to attack this turn. But as long as I keep making attacks, I'll still get that willpower and I won't be pushing. And then the reason that, cut, like, that got me wanting to play this team so badly was uh, I picked up the Con Ellie Martian Manhunter. And I've always been a fan of him, just like in the cartoons. He's just kind of cool, and uh, I like him, and he's dorky. And he's way cooler looking than the DC, the more affordable and more playable uh, DC 10th version. Because, like, that one's just all alien y and ugly y. And I mean, I know this is natural state and I'm being all, like, mean and prejudiced and stuff like that. But he just looks cooler as the LE. Um, he's actually overpriced and not very good. So I don't know how, what he's going to actually do for me and my team this, this, this round. But it, I just want to play him because he's cool. Um, also, for my Green Lantern, I got a. The, the one from the Teen Titans, the the rare, um, he's just there between the Green Lantern. It was up to me, I'd have a Jon Stewart, but apparently the one Jon Stewart piece they made is not that good. So, I mean, what the heck, man? I mean, some of us watched the cartoon first, so we'd rather have a Jon Stewart Green Lantern than just a regular um, Hal Jordan Green Lantern. But anyway, I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to him. I like his... Uh, his power that lets him, it is anything I can imagine power, which lets you basically pick any power for his attack that can, like, with close combat, or ranged combat, or a power action to activate, so that, uh, I'm hoping that versatility will be all sorts of useful. Um, next up, I picked, uh, the Flash from DC 10th, the Uncommon. Uh, this one I picked because it's Wally West, and, um, I liked Wally West's Kid Flash. He's, uh, fun and awesome, so, uh, I had to play him. I don't really play the other flashes as much because they're kind of boring as opposed to... I mean, they're more powerful, but they're more... They're not Wally. Uh, next up is uh, Green Arrow. This is the, the the new 52 Green Arrow, the one that's got the crazy um, energy explosion stuff. Um, yeah, I wanted a good Green Arrow. I'm kind of disappointed that it is the new 52 version because the comic really, really crushed me for being so uh, lame. So, uh, But uh, it's, it's still Ollie. Uh, I'm still going to use him. I'm actually running him with a 10-point bat belt that I'm calling the arrow belt because, you know, uh, back in the day when they needed a Batman character but they didn't want to overexpose him, they just stuck uh, Green Arrow in and he fit the bill. So I'm doing the same thing. And then finishing me up at exactly 1,200 points is the Black Canary from the Fast Forces Streets of Gotham. Um, she's just awesome. I just love the idea that her sonic scream is the, the pulse wave and... Um, yeah, I think it's the best representation of the her sonic her uh, canary cry. So I'm, I just like using her. She's a, a good little bruiser too. Once she gets base, so it's a let me run up and blast you with the pulse wave, or come base me and I'm still gonna beat you up. It's one of those fun things. Uh, so this is my 1200 point Justice League team. Um, 
I've seen some of the teams that people are playing right now, and they are pretty awesome. So I don't know how well I'm going to do, but I'm just hoping to win by, by a, I don't know, style alone. Does the style exist? All right. Uh, thank you. So the Justice League was able to win. Um, I think that had more to do with the eight theme PCs than anything else. Um, 1200 point games are uh, really slow, and in 45 minutes we couldn't get more than like uh, f three, four, maybe at best five rounds in. So it was like really dependent on who was the star, uh, just who was able to get those first couple of kills in. Uh, I think if they had progressed like just any bit longer, like uh, rounds six through eight, the games would have totally turned against me. Um, I found that a lot of my pieces ha were mainly used just so I could theme PC. And uh, uh, the, the Flash, the uh, Black Canary, even Batman. Even Batman was mainly there for a theme PC and for throwing Perplex out there. Uh, Flash's uh, Perplex was also super useful. Um, my favorite character, the whole reason I made this team, the Martian Manhunter, didn't do anything. He, he was never even a good spot to theme PC. So, like, that was just bumming me out like hardcore um yeah superman and wonder woman did what they were supposed to which was come in and do some damage uh superman of course was more valuable with his running shot and eight target and and um his running shot two target eight range um which super super helped um i guess like the the mvps really were the green lantern and the green arrow um the Green Lantern would help by carrying all my walkers out to a spot where uh, I can cover most of them with hindering terrain and hide the rest of them behind those people in hindering terrain. Um, the 200 point Batman, of course, gave all my characters except for Superman stealth, so that really just cut down on my points ability to shoot right away. Um, and then <clears throat> Green Arrow, with his belt, would sneak out around with his first action and then just... Uh, Writing shot, energy explosion, uh, I frequently would double perplex his, his damage. Uh, he starts with an 11 attack, so with the belt on click 1, it's a 12 attack. And I would just blast like in the middle of his formation, doing 3 splash damage to everybody. And that really broke a lot of people up and got people off some of their starting top clicks. Um, and then Green Lantern, the next turn, I just give him a penetrating psychic blast and just start blasting at people. Uh, I guess with these higher point games, there's a whole bunch of reducers, and uh, I really needed that Psychic Blast. It really helped out quite a bit. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I don't think this team was built. If there was just a couple more turns in the game, uh, it would totally turn against me. Uh, there were several times I was just like limping into that victory. And as always, I'm interested to hear what changes you would have made to my team, or what team builds you would have came up with had you been playing the 1200 points uh, single universe uni uh, fun stuff like that. Uh, please leave your comments below on the videos. Uh, my name is Matt and thank you for watching another episode of You Built That?